So now that we have Docker set up and we know the basics, we're gonna move it on to SQL or SQL, however else you wanna call it. But SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It's a standard language used for database creation and manipulation. Databases like MySQL or Postgres use SQL for you to query any of the data within their own tables. So let's go ahead and start our playground. We're gonna set up a database using Postgres within a Docker container, and then we can create our own tables with fake data to play around with, and we'll use them later on in the course as well. All right, so first things first is I have a terminal open and I've created a data engineering database directory. Because we're using Docker, we do not have to install Postgres locally. What we can do is run the command docker pull Postgres. And what that's going to do is look up the image of Postgres on the Docker hub, pull the latest version of that down. And now we can actually create a container that's running the Postgres image. So now we got to start our Postgres container now that we have the image. So I'm going to say docker run. The name of this container is going to be data engineering Postgres. Uh, the environment variables that we that I want are going to be related to Postgres, which is going to be Postgres underscore password. And what that's going to be is just going to be secret. And then I'm going to do the D flag and we're going to say we're going to use the Postgres image. Go ahead and run that. Now I have my container. Now what I want to do is I want to create a new database inside of Postgres. So I'm going to say docker exec hyphen u for the user, which is just Postgres as default, the name of the container, which is just data engineering of Postgres. I'm going to say create DB. And the name of the database is going to be Postgres DB. Now that we've run that, we've created a sample database inside. Now let's go ahead and connect to it. So I'm going to say docker exec slash it data engineering Postgres p sql hyphen u for the user on Postgres and the name of the database, which is going to be Postgres DB. Now we are inside, as you can see, of the Postgres database. If I do slash DT, no current tables as of right now. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to create our first table. I have these commands already written out, so I don't waste as much time. So the first thing I'm going to do just for an example is create a table called users. So inside this command, you see a couple things. So we have an ID of the type serial, which is also our primary key here as an identifier. We have a first name, which is at most 50 characters. We have a last name, which is the same thing. We have an email that is also characters, but we want it to at least be 100. And then we have a date of birth, which is just in the type of date. So we're going to hit enter. It's going to show us that we have a table. So now if I do slash DT, we can see that the users table is now created and populated inside of this database. I'm going to go ahead and copy in some fake data as well. And don't worry, this will all be in the description below. So that way you can copy and paste this in as you follow along. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And this is simply just user. So it contains a first name, a last name, an email and date of birth. So let me go ahead and enter and you can see it entered in 14 records. So now this brings us into the first command we're going to learn. 